Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, she kept going on and on and on about how terrible this place looks, and she's not exactly wrong, and we were trying to find her estranged mother, Valerica, and that requires some exploring a little bit, in some regards. And I think I went a little bit off the beaten path, which is not a good thing. Because there is a thing I need to do to get a pretty good spell. But first... You must hey, there it is! My Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac. Calm down. Who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were yeah. attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature. And he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. You're not wrong. How can I help? Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! That come doesn't back. tell me anything. <laughs> Except his name several times. Okay. Whoa! He just disappeared out of nowhere. Alright, well. Uh, Arvac. I'm pretty sure they never fixed the glitch where his skull doesn't show up. Until you get, like, within... Well, skull. I say skull. It's basically his remains. Um, don't show up until you're within, like, bow striking distance. So, gonna... I think it's... I'm trying to recall everything about it from memory. And that could be wrong in many regards. So I'm just trying to uh, remember uh, the basic gist of it, because this place is a big motherfucker, and it will take a long ass time for me to find every little secret, but I'm willing to do that for you, because that is what I like doing, <laughs> to show you guys the cool little things that are everywhere in this game. Alright, I think it's on this side. Whoa. That looks like a dragon's foot. That looks like dragon bones right there. Whoop. Oh. Some sort of enemy over here. I'm entirely sure where it is. It's only showing the marker, not showing me where. Are oh, yet. And as soon as I notice them, they're gone. Well, that's a thing. Hmm. I want to find out, though. Want to know? Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, soul gems. Black soul gem. Hell yeah. And this would make me feel bad about enchanting. Nope. Just lets me know where I'm sending the bastards who I try to kill when they try to kill me. Cause they deserve it. God damn it. Alright, how do I get up to wherever that is? Yep, that's a dragon, alright. Weird that it's there, but... How do I get up there to you, buddy? I have no idea. Hmm. Whoops, that's the wrong button. I'm used to destiny controls. <laughs> there we go. That's... Oh, you little shit. Okay. Well, Serana took care of that right quick. Didn't even need to do shit. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's the little barrier where you can't cross. Because the Ideal Masters will not let you. Yeah. That is... Rather weird shade of blue. To be seen around here. Uh, it might not even be in this area. It might be on the other side of that big ass wall maybe not entirely sure uh yeah I might have gone like completely in the wrong direction souls harvested I think they fill whatever gem you have open or well, whatever largest gem you have open so that's kind of good at least on that note all right, let's just get going and go across. Because I'm pretty sure that's how we'll get to Arvac and 
find my, uh, what was it? My soul that kind of is hurting me so far. Yep. Um, just because I realized I didn't show how much it's hurting me. Yeah. That's how much. <laughs> it's kind of significant. So we should kind of probably be dealing with it right now. Um, although I don't remember where they house that. I'm pretty sure that when I talk to Valerica, it'll tell me. Anyway, I kind of want to find Arvac for the time being. And now that I think about it, he might be over... Okay. There he is. There's Arvac. In the tits. Okay. That was weird. This is not even the place where he goes. Okay, so... I'm assuming I'm on the right track. Somewhat. I think that's an, just the weirdest ass glitch I've ever seen. I've never seen before. Oh, here's another pile of dragon bones. And human bones. Or sentient bones, anyway. Uh, what is in here? That is a question. Oh, ow. Oh, I'll let him, I'll let her deal with that one. Try dealing with this one. Okay. This guy does not like me, apparently. Oh, oh nice. I'm able to avoid him quite easily. His his arrows are not even hitting. Come on, man. Do something new. Do something original. <laughs> Oops, that didn't work. Ow. Okay, you got me there. Alright, there you go. Now you're down. And let's try to hit that little... Yep. Hit that little trigger there. I'll let her deal with that one. She's having fun so far. I'll let her do that. Okay. Hit that trigger. <laughs> to kill you again. I've never heard that one out of her. Can you just hit the thing? That's a little weird. That's supposed to, uh go away like that one did. And it's going to be down in just a moment. I could actually hit him with this a little bit. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I was just about to shoot him in the back just because, fuck it. I didn't realize I could go that way to hit this. Uh, why are you not going? Hmm. Okay, if that didn't do it, I don't know what will. That is weird as fuck. Wait. Oh, that's where it is. I was going to try and pick up my bolts around it, but apparently that's not the case. It's not going to let me. Because I can pick up the ones around here. That's weird. Oh, they're there. There's the rest of my bolts. They just ended up ricocheting a little farther than I thought. Where'd that uh, pile of bones go? Oh. Well, it's good that it... Good that it meets your expectations. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. And that would be where Valerica is, but I still want to find where Arvac is. I'm pretty sure he's this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And the closer I get to him, the marker will eventually appear. Hmm. Is that it? This looks familiar. I'm just 
basically looking for places that look familiar at this point. And it may take for a good long time before I'm able to do that. Whoa. What the? Oh, okay, geez. Uh, let's take out my sword. Fuck it. Okay. Good lord, they're everywhere. And I just took them all out in one hit. God, these are pathetic. Or maybe I'm just overpowered. That's possible. That is equally possible. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Didn't exactly want to capture that one, but it works. So I'm not going to complain. The other one go. There it is. There we go. Nice. Now there's something here. Conjure Bone Man. Okay. That's nice to have. Let's read that book and it'll be a spell that we have now. Where is it? There it is. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, oops a doodle. There we go. Conjure Bone Man. So instead of doing reanimate corpse on some, I can just conjure a bone man. Which is nice. I like having that ability. Because now... Boom! Haha! <laughs> now I just have one with me at all times. It's always armed. It doesn't have to deal with the glitch of... If you loot it, it will be unable to use a weapon until it picks up another one so even if you leave the weapons on it so it's always good to do that I think I could actually be doing Sunfire currently and be doing a lot more damage to these guys so I'm gonna have this going for the time being and still looking for Arvac so <laughs> this might be a thing this might be a hell of a thing. Okay, let's go as far as we can to the edge. And then work our way around. What the? Serana? What the hell? Okay. Alright then. This is a thing. This is a hell of a thing. Whoa. That's, whoa! Okay, that was really close. That one was really close. <sighs> oh, there goes another one. Um, uh, heady soul gem. Yep. I was just here, wasn't I? Yeah, I think I was just here. That was also really close. Holy shit! What's that? I want to look at that. That's. A gigantic soul gem. Okay, cool. I want to look. <laughs> want to get a closer look. Oh, uh oh. That's actually doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, gee. Don't know why I wasn't doing this earlier. Oops, uh, that's when I actually aimed the thing. Whoa! Rana! Try to avoid the friendly fire here. Okay, whoop. Let's take that. There we go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I want to let Serana have some of the glory there. Alright, let's take that. Take that. There we go. These guys take lesser soul gems, don't they? I could swear they do. Maybe they take common. Either way. Either way. They do take up a soul gem, and I don't want them to do that too much if I can avoid it. Because those I'd rather fill with the correct soul gem. Huh. Alright. Seems we're back in the middle of the path. But I really want to look at that big old soul gem there. But I can't really reach it from where I'm at. I can hit that, though. And possibly go in that little cave... Whatever. Not cave. 
little alcove underneath it. Uh, bam! Aha! It should that should have opened this. And the ever-loving pits. That should open that. Is there more of them that I have to hit? This is going to be an elaborate puzzle. God damn it. I hate the elaborate puzzles because then you'd never know where the hell the rest of the shit is. Nope, it's not on the sides. I keep crouching instead of actually hitting the sprint button. I'm used to the sprint button being anything else. Hmm. Bugger it. Where is another switch? That's the question. Oh, it's over there. Do it. That opened it up. Yes, it did. Hell yeah. Whoa. Oh! Okay. Seems the soul gem is trying to steal my heart. And soul. Ooh, bleeding crown. I can always use that. Ah. Uh, but oh. Okay. Yeah. I forgot. That's the thing that happens with those. Yeah, that will drain your energy consistently until you're dead. And uh, after that, you're pretty much stuck here forever. <sighs> okay. Arvac. Okay, I'm guessing that he's probably on the other side, but I want to get going with this quest because we've been stalling long enough, really. Or I've been stalling long enough. So we might as well just head on and do it. Just run our way, our happy little asses, all the way to Valerica's house. All the way over here. Alright, that's where it ends anyway. Oh, we can't really get into her house. How pleasant. That big old barrier's in the way. Mother. Oh, that's your mother. Dressed exactly the same. Serana, is it really you? I can't believe it. Me neither. Get inside. We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? Not here. He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We are here to stop him, to make everything right. Wait a moment. You brought a stranger here. Have you lost your mind? What? No, you don't. You, come forward. I would speak with you. Okay. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? How would you? It pains me to think you travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. That is, it's not a ruse. I'm here to keep her safe. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade. I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. I barely do it as Serana a trade. Has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. She did. That's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. And I barely do it as a trade. I kill everyone for a trade, really. I barely do vampires. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. Oh. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. Yes, we already know that. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Ah, how does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Mm -hmm. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Yeah. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. I we see. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Ah. So it requires her blood. Wait, Serana underwent this ritual willingly? It was expected of her. 
just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't an have honor? dared turn her back on that. Being offered to a Daedric Lord is an honor? Listen, I'm not even going to go into what happens because I know I don't want to, you know, say it because it's kind of terrible. Pretty terrible. But, really? What is Cold Harbor, then? It's what some call the domain of Molag Ball. His place in Oblivion. Ah. Uh, so the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Ah. So you're saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Wow. I would never allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? How do you think? I'm gonna kill his ass. <laughs> I'll need your help. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. Right, right. So, and Serana's opinion in this? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. I'm the only one Whether asking. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Not entirely true. Serana believes in me, why won't you? Serana? This stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Mm -hmm. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. That's true. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You Unwillingly. You me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, you're still just a pawn to you too. Yeah, you go, girl. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. Yay, happy family. You want the Elder well, Scroll. half family. It's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. I'm sure they are. Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Nice to know. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Good. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. I'm in the position? What do you... What do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At uh -huh. their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Oh, that Destroy sucks. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. We'll return soon. One more word of warning. Okay. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The Will ideal do. masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Alrighty. If I leave the Soul Cairn, can I safely return? As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the soul cairn filled the void. All right. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Okay. 
Well, that's good to know. Be careful. And keep my daughter safe. And those keeper things and get back to the prison. Yeah, that's a good idea. However, it's still not telling me where my soul gem is. Uh that'll keep me, you know, you know, less likely to die. <sighs> oh well. We'll find out later. I'll I'll probably look it up myself. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games for you.